Kotaki, known as the Dark Hunter, is a ninja and demon huntress. Her quest to find Soul Edge ended in a confrontation with Cervantes, the greatest foe she had yet faced. After a deadly battle, Taki emerged victorious, but not before her beloved sword Rekimaru was shattered. She returned Sofitia, the young girl she saved in battle, to her homeland, and then Taki, too, made her way back home to Japan. Foremost in her mind was the mending of her sword, which she intended to do using a shard of Soul Edge. Alas, the two swords were incompatible, and she had no choice but to give up. However, there was another sword she could try, the enchanted blade she hid before leaving Japan, Mekimaru. Mekimaru, without this, I'd never had been able to escape the Fuma clan. Wielding such a sword requires the greatest of care. Hmm. I had some idea, but I never expected Soul Edge and Mekimaru would fuse together this well. However, this power is so intense. Can I control it? <laughs> I finally found you, Taki. Geki? Have you been watching me? Mekimaru belongs to Master Toki. Hand it over! So Mekimaru still wasn't safe. This sword must not fall into Toki's hands. Watch your mouth! It's Master Toki to you! <sighs> not anymore, it isn't. Why do you still follow him even though he's lost his mind? <laughs> You're getting sloppy, Taki. I don't know what you did to that sword, but it's taking its toll, no? I'll be taking it from you now. Whoa! So this is Mekimaru? <sighs> Damn! Let's see. Stop, Geki! Don't draw that blade! What the? Ta! Ah! What? No! Mekimaru! After her! Now! It seems I'm stuck with the sword for a bit longer. But its power is too great. Could I ever learn to master it? Did you really think you could escape, Taki? And you, Maki? Just another hopeless Toki loyalist? Don't you see him for what he's become? <laughs> That's exactly why I follow Master Toki. Hm. I should have guessed. Master Toki says that if you play nice and hand over Mekimaru, he'll show mercy. Do you really think I'd fall for that? I knew you'd say that. It's true, though. You're still in his good books. And... now we're ready. Ah! Poison powder! You'll pay for that! Leading the ninja's life. <sighs> I shouldn't expect anything less from the Yasunobe's forces. I must stay alert. If only I can master Mekimaru and fight them off. It's a long way from the Manji clan's village. Hmm? <sighs> Those clothes. He must be from there. Shikisoku Zeku. What? He's some sort of automaton? <laughs> he must have used word power to control it. It's remarkable he could do it for so long. You did well to see through my contraption. 
Even so, when I reclaim that foreign sword, revenge shall be mine. That foreign sword? You mean Soul Edge. Soul Edge was a pair of swords. Indeed, there was one that wasn't destroyed. Hmm. Hmm? What's this I'm sensing? Gallo Fury. Was the seal broken? Matters have taken a turn for the worse, but this can't be ignored. Been a while, Taki. Esteemed leader of the Fuji Bay, please let me do what I must. You of all people know the horror that is Gallo Fury. Can you master Mekimaru? Don't tell me you seek the blade too. Do not misunderstand me. I need Mekimaru, but only to stop Toki and his madness. <sighs> so you're part of the Urabe faction? Yes. We are entrusted with righting the clan leader's wrongs. But our faction leader is not strong enough to defeat Toki. That is why we need Mekimaru. Through the power of words, you could control Mekimaru for a short while. I shall not ask you for the sword, but would you be willing to help us defeat Toki? I'm an outcast now. And outcasts have but one fate. Indeed they do. I'm sure you know better than most. That not a single outcast has ever survived! Taki, you have done well mastering that blade. You should have been leader of the Fujibe, not I. <sighs> I will leave it to you to rid us of Toki's threat. I know he was a teacher to you, so I fear it will not be easy. However, I ask you now, kill Toki. Are you really letting me, an outcast, walk away? If it's to fulfill my faction's duty, then yes. I shall call off your pursuers to make it easier for you. And I shall entrust you with this. And this is? Ranjatai. Incense imbued with the celestial power. There is nothing better for sealing demons. Thank you. But remember, I'll do what I must, nothing more. Yes. I expect our paths will not cross again. Farewell. Shuki. I thought I was adept at stealth. To think I'd be sniffed out like this. Well, our specialty is sniffing out ghosts. <laughs> Why are you sticking your nose in now? <laughs> Does an outcast really need to ask? I took you for one who'd idly obey Toki's orders. <laughs> Is it that obvious? You're correct. I'm not interested in Mekimaru. I simply seek Gallo Fury to use as I like. What? Tell me, Taki. How do you intend to seal him? He's absorbed the power of other demons around him, and is far stronger than ever before. <sighs> Mekimaru can take care of Gallo Fury. Huh? I won't fall for your tricks, Taki. There must be more to it. What are you hiding? Tell me! Using a vengeful spirit? Evil wretch! You will tell me everything. <laughs> Mime and Nime are both vengeful spirits, too? The seal worked. I hope. Ah, I saw everything. She used... Ranjatai. Now I see. She must have stolen it. <laughs> uh, uh, this body has outgrown its usefulness. 
I need to find another. <laughs> Though I'd like to discover his true form, I must focus on sealing Gello Fury. Hokoji Temple is nearby. The aura is overpowering. <laughs> An ambush? <laughs> Yeki, you're possessed by Gallo Fury. <laughs> Gallo Fury. This ends now. <laughs> Ever the hard worker, Taki, even though you're an outcast. Shut up. It's Toki's turn next. <laughs> Master Toki's probably not even in these lands anymore. What? <laughs> Did you really think he knew nothing of Soul Edge? Mekimaru's power pales in comparison. <sighs> Pursuing Toki will lead me to Soul Edge. This must be fate. No. It's just something I must do. Time to cross the seas once more. <laughs> <laughs>